Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, hi, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, with nail stuff, and the stuff she does with nails and stuff with nail stuff and stuff with nails. <laughs> I'm going straight in with this blue sparkly magnetic gel polish. I would, I'm being a bit of a, am I being a and I don't think I am. The company that was supposed to be sponsoring this video have not held up their end of the deal. So I'm not going to fulfill my end of the deal and tell you all about these products, but I'm just going to use them. But it's a magnetic sparkly gel polish. So use any magnetic sparkly gel polish and you're good to go. Although I'm actually thinking that this would have worked better with just a plain color gel polish, but I was sent these. Um, so I'm just playing around with the magnet and at one point it shows you all the sort of, all the sparkles come out. So instead of doing them on black and trying to get like a line effect or a, a black hole effect, oh, do you remember the dreaded black hole? Um, then I'm just going to just put, put the color on and then just move the magnet so that it's at this sort of optimum sparkle level and it kind of looks like crushed velvet. I don't know whether it was the best course of action for the set that I do. That was me just playing around with it. So it does look really nice. Um, but I did it. So here we are. Uh, so I'm going to get all the sparkles out as much as pos and then cure it. Um, I did the same for both layers. Stop playing with the magnet woman. <laughs> just get it in the lamp. Come on. Oh, for goodness sake. I was, I was having some fun. Um, so once that's done, oh my good Lord. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> you dick. Just put it in the lamp. There we go. Did you have, did everybody enjoy that? <laughs> so now it's super sparkly and it does, it kind of looks like crushed velvet. It's almost too sparkly for my camera. It makes the whole video look like it's blurry, but it's not. Um, what am I getting that out for? Oh, some tweezers in case you're wondering. Um, and I'm going to use these stickers which are from Diamond Glitters that you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. Uh, and I'm going to, pl la la, should we go with plonk or plop today? Uh, place, let's go with place. <laughs> I'm going to place one of those on there. That took so much longer than it looks like it took. Oh, I was faffing around every time I went to move my hand away, the sticker would come. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm going to mix Blossom Candy, which is a glitter from Diamond Glitters, with some Super Base, I think that was, like a rubber base coat, so it's not too runny. And I'm going to create a little crystal out of it, because the other polish I've got is pink, so I thought I'll put a bit of pink onto the blue. I don't know why I used a dotting tool to pick this up with, that was a silly idea, but... Um, I'm full of silly ideas, you see, so sometimes they, they come to fruition. Uh, and then I'll fill that in and trying to make a bit of a dome. Um, I suppose you don't have to. You could just put some, that you don't have to make it a dome. You could just put the polish flat in there, but I wanted to give it a kind of gem look. So I've cured that in place and now I'm taking the Gel Perfection Builder Gel and I'm going to do some shell kind of lines. See what I mean? How it probably wasn't best to do. I did try a few different ways. That's a lie. I tried one other way. <laughs> Me pretending I spent ages. I did actually spend a while faffing about. Um, but I still just wanted some of them to. I want to. Right. Okay. Here's what I wanted. I wanted the the magnetic gel polish. The yes, magnetic gel polish to be at sparkliest all the time. So it's not showing up these shell marks very well. But you'll just have to trust me that you could see it and it looked better in the flesh, in the gel. So I'm taking the Builder Gel and I'm doing kind of a, a blob and then stretching it out into a line, taking it all up to this um, glitter gem thing we've made. So just kind of making sure that it's, yeah, a bit of a blob on the end and then stretch it out. Um, so it gets thinner towards wherever you're taking it towards and then I'll cure that and I'm topping it with um, I'm topping it with diamond gloss of course of course and I'm going over everything 
obviously making sure the sticker's sealed in and everything. But then I'm kind of dragging it through where we've got these raised kind of embossed shell marks to take some of it off because otherwise you're going to soften it and going to lose any definition. So I put the gel polish on and then I'm kind of almost brushing it off. So it's still going to have it on it, but it's just going to be thinner and the gel is not going to fill up all the um, gaps and the, the low points between the shell marks that we've made. So I will cure that and that's that one done, I think. Yes. See, yeah, it's not showing up on camera as well as it did in real life. And with the shell marks, I would recommend flash curing, even if it's like five seconds between each one, just so that when you do another one coming up towards the top where they get closer together, they don't kind of blob together or merge together. Uh, so I'm doing the same with this pink sparkly magnetic gel polish. Again, using the magnet so that not to leave a, a certain mark um, with the magnet, but just to use it to bring out all the sparkle, um, which probably isn't how they're meant. I mean, I know with magnetic polishes, you are meant to kind of leave some kind of mark in it, like a, a streak or a black hole or whatever. But I just it was so sparkly and so shimmery. I think yes, shimmery is the better word that I just wanted it to be all that. So I'm taking tropical waters, which... I don't know if it, if it's still available from Diamond Glitters because I think it's an old one. I think I was thinking of putting some blue onto the pink, but it's an iridescent blue. So that was really dumb because it just, you know, iridescent glitters will pick up colour from underneath. So you can't really see that it's blue. But what a happy accident. Look at this. <gasps> Ooh, I like it. Um... So I'm going to do a fade with that. I put some base coat down and I didn't cure the base coat and then I'm going to tapity tap tap this in. So with pick up some glitter on your brush, pat it in at the top and then as you move your brush down, obviously it sticks to the gel so it'll sort of start to fade itself out but you can always fiddle around with the, um, the fading area if you want to move some bits around. And I'm going to, then I cured that and I'm going to top it with super gloss, super gloss. And then I just bit my tongue as I said that, <laughs> super gloss, um, and cure it and buff it just in case there's any um, little bumpy bits anywhere, and then top it with diamond gloss, and it's all shiny and sparkly and lovely and iridescent. We do have a lovers and haters. Have I got time for a lovers and haters? I'm going to try and squeeze one in. What am I doing on the next nail? I think it's kind of self-explanatory, so let's have an episode of lovers and haters. Lovers and haters, lovers and haters, battle, 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 battle. lovers and haters. Our first lover message is from Catherine Harrison. She says, wow, 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 love these. And I think it's fair to say all of us sing along to your intro. I'm sorry about that. I Every time I sing it, I wonder whether I should just bin it, bin the whole thing. But I, I fear it's here to stay. <laughs> um, but thank you for your comment. So, so, blah, blah, blah. I think I've got phantom tongue piercing today I used to have my tongue pierced and every so often I'll like lisp as if I still had the balls in my <laughs> as if I still had balls in my mouth um and that's not all the time okay that's just occasionally <laughs> um so that's why sometimes I get a bit lispy or sometimes I do that thing, if you've got your tongue pierced, have you ever had it pierced? You know when you used to sort of push your tongue forward and put the ball between your front teeth or flip your tongue back and put the ball between your front teeth? I sometimes... See? Do you see what I'm dealing with there? Um, I sometimes still do that and I'm like, oh yeah, there's nothing there anymore. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about now. Balls, mouth, hater. There we go. <laughs> Um, our message was on an old video where I did a live voiceover as I was filming and we were having some work done on the roof. There was a leak in my roof, so I was having it fixed. Um, so there was a lot of banging, which I explained in like the first seven seconds of the video. But we still get these comments and it read, <laughs> The thumping in this video is obnoxious! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Couldn't listen, had to put on mute. Thumbs down. Couldn't listen, comma, had to put on mute. 
You could even have used a semicolon there if you wanted. Perhaps they don't have English lessons in troll school. I don't know. I didn't go. Maybe the guy who was fixing my roof was out of silent hammers that day. His only choice was to use one of those obnoxious noise-making hammers. <laughs> um, look at these kite crystals. I replied, obviously. Um, these are from Diamond Glitters. They're so gorgeous. I love them. They're just mm, pretty. So we're going to put some rose crystals on there as well and some caviar beads um, into the wet uncured super base and then we will cure them and then I'll top around everything and make sure I get sort of in between all the nooks and crannies of the crystals and the caviar beads and then again on the bottom part of the nail I will sort of top coat and then drag the brush through to get it out of any of the uh, dips between the shell lines so that it doesn't lose its um, shape 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 and then what we're we doing? <laughs> Should we have another lover? Let's have another lover. We had a message from Wicked Queenie said, I get so excited when I get a notification that you post a new video. You encourage me to restart my channel doing voiceovers. Thank you. I love that. You can absolutely do voiceovers. It is scary. It was definitely scary at first. And sometimes when I'm having bad, anxious days, it, I don't like the fact that me talking a lot is kind of sort of out there in the world for people to hear. Um, but you get used to it. So definitely um, crack on with your channel and I hope it goes really well. Um, this next nail is I'm going to do another two coats of the um, my mind has just stopped working. This stuff magnetic sparkly gel polish there we go um and then i'm going to put another frame in the center and add some of the pink glitter into it to create another kind of gem and then i'm going to do the shell lines coming from the outside all going towards the center so i'm going to do the top bottom left and right and then i think i flash and then do the diagonal ones and then flash and then do the ones in between everything um this is how fiddly I find those <laughs> those frames. Just use your fingers. There we go. I have to say a huge thank you to Trish, who is one of the gang friends, one of the subscri subscribers on here, um, who sent me something in the post. It's so amazing, and I want to show you all. And when I finally get round to doing my sort of um, on-screen video, uh, where I've got lots of questions from you guys to answer, um, and I want to show you the things that you lovely people have sent me. Um, it's so cool. I don't want to say because it's just, it's awesome and I love it and I want you to see it. Um, but I wanted to get a thank you in this video for that. I have sent you a message, so, um, hopefully you've got the message. Oh my goodness, I got a message. I got an email today, um, confirming dispatch of an order that apparently I placed at four o'clock this morning. <laughs> This one, I should be asleep. One of my clients messaged me at half past four saying something. I said, please tell me you're not just waking up. And she was like, yep, about to start my day. And I was like, I haven't even gone to sleep yet. She was like, I'm going to be at your house in like six hours. I was like, yeah, see you then. I'll be the one who not so bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, but yeah, I'd ordered something last night at about 4 a.m. And it wasn't a cheap order either, which does happen from time to time. And I forget and then the next day I get an email and I'm like, oh, shit, I spent, you know, X amount, X hundreds of pounds on something, <laughs> but I have bought a piece of art. Do you want to see it? It's by one of my favourite artists. His name's Leonid Afromov. He died in 2019. Um, part of me wishes I'd have thought about buying one of his pieces before he died. I suspect it would have been a bit cheaper, um, but I didn't get an original. They go for like £30,000 and I wasn't quite that delusional at four o'clock this morning. Um, but it's this piece. It's called Grease, I think. But go on Google Images of all his um, work. It's absolutely incredible. There's one called Oakland Rain, which is just insane. Um, they just, oh, I love them so much. And I kind of want to do some nail art inspired by them but I don't know how I can get that much stuff going on on tiny nails maybe I'll give it a go one day what do you think um 
So that was my that was my 4 a.m. purchase. And turns out it's quite big. It's um, one meter by 73 centimeters. It won't go anywhere in my house. Like it won't match anything. My house is very minimalistic and cream. Um, and I'm thinking maybe in my room, but my room's like gray and white with some blush pink. I know, pink, me. Um, accents and a lot of astronaut artwork <laughs> so I don't know how it's going to go but it might just have to go but there's the added cost now of finding a frame for it um, so yeah not the wisest 4am purchase I've made but not the least wise either <laughs> I've had other things turn up that I've completely forgotten about anyway this is this now I think this one's my favorite it looks so much nicer in the flesh it just looks like some because it kind of looks like crushed velvet it looks like some kind of drapery of kind of you know some ornate theater hanging um i don't know that's where my head went what do you think i hope you like them if you do then please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below just saying hello let me know how you're all doing you can follow me on instagram at miss joe's nail co and subscribe to this channel for lots more videos i appreciate you being here so so much uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.